One of the things that sticks out is there are a lot of wonderfully qualified folks that we see that come through the process. Um, and you you think that you know how you may react in certain situations. And so one of the key components of that is just really having people being immersed in those situations and observing what their reactions are and how they work within the process. Uh, they invite us in for interview, but uh, for us, uh, the toughest part of the interview is not the conversation uh, among people, but it's the medical uh, um, evaluations that they do for us. We will be flying you know, to the International Space Station or to the moon. There's not a hospital nearby. They, we have to be in very good health. It's a, it's a strange environment to be weightless or on the moon, you're like one sixth gravity. Uh, so you have to be in very good health and not just uh, physical fitness, but uh, very good health. Your heart has to be good. They scan everything. And uh, if there's something not right, then they say, okay, sorry, uh, you, we will find somebody else. So it, I think uh, the toughest part for any of the, the application is to have uh, to be in, in, in good health and safe so that you, they can send you far away from any hospitals or any doctors in a strange environment. So the, uh, the interview is actually very interesting because you're sitting with uh, senior astronauts and uh, senior officials and you have, they just ask you a simple question. Tell us about yourself. And you can tell very quickly if somebody is easy to get along with, if somebody has a sense of humor, if somebody is very nervous, you can tell that uh, you can imagine if you were sitting at the board listening to somebody talking, you can very well, you can think, well, could I fly with this person? Could I be in a space station for six months with them? Uh, or will they be annoying or will they be difficult to work with? Or will they be easy to work with? Or do they know what they're talking about? Uh, so it's very, um, it's a very interesting process of what you can, can do. When I applied, we had to major in science and STEM mm -hmm. area. And we have to graduate from university level education. And also we needed to have a uh, three year of working experiences and some medical conditions as well. But recently JAXA changed their prerequisite conditions and now JAXA allows people of non-science major as well. So it opens up the door more. Uh, and the selection process takes about a year. Uh, the first paper test and a practical test interviews medical checks and a final test includes an isolation chamber among eight or ten finalists. Yes, because everything was new, we didn't have an idea what kind of tests were conducted during the selection. So we could not get prepared well so every time I appeared at the JAXA Space Center or other places and the JAXA management told me oh, what to do and uh, so it was very uh, demanding and each time uh, also it's uh, competitive and in my case about 860 something applicants uh, applied for the astronaut and three, including myself, are selected. And now it's getting more and more competitive. So I joined NASA and uh, they sent me over to Russia to help with the first parts of space station. Then I got to fly on Russian Soyuz, Russian spacewalks and uh, be part of the International Space Station. So it's been a very nice adventure. Three or four times a day did we have uh, communication with the uh, satellite that allowed us to make a phone call to home. So we would, uh, we would be doing our work. There was only two of us at the time. We would do our work and then we would look across the space station and see that the, the lights that said, okay, you have communication with Earth, with Earth, uh, with your, uh, you can use the telephone now. You wake up in the morning, you are in your own little room, uh, but it's nice because you're sleeping, you're standing up, your arms floating, 
but you wake up in the morning and you say, I'm in space. And then you see your friends that you're flying, that you're flying in space with and beautiful planet Earth is there. It's a great way to start the day.